Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking a pretzel for the first time, which honestly I am very, very, very excited to do. I've never tried to smoke a pretzel before, so as such, well, I am indeed excited to try to smoke a pretzel for the first time in this video right now, you know what I'm saying? But in all honesty, I don't really know how well this is actually going to work. A pretzel doesn't really have a lot of airflow going from one side to the other side, so as such, I don't really know whether it's going to be smokable or not. Don't get me wrong. I definitely do think that the pretzel will catch fire and everything like that kind of thing, but I don't really know whether it's actually going to be smokable or not. So I do suppose I am quite excited to actually find out whether smoking a pretzel is possible or not. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. And even if it is possible, I'm certainly not expecting it to be a great experience and I'm certainly not expecting it to taste very good. Although honestly, if I could just smoke me a nice pretzel flavored smoke, you know what I'm saying? That certainly would be pretty good. But today I'm going to be smoking a Snyder's gluten-free pretzel stick, you know what I'm saying? Which honestly, seems like the exact perfect pretzel I need to be smoking you know what I'm saying not only am I gluten free but this is also a stick I don't think it would be very possible to smoke a pretzel that's like a, the bow tie and everything like that kind of thing I don't think that would be very possible so I definitely do think the stick is gonna give me the best opportunity to well smoke a pretzel you know what I'm saying but I do think without further ado it is now time for me to go ahead and get a pretzel all out you know what I'm saying I'm gonna look for a completely 100% whole pretzel rod if I can that one's not whole, you know what I'm saying? I have eaten a lot of this bag, so definitely finding a whole pretzel is going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I'm gonna go ahead and just try to do that real quick, you know what I'm saying? Just looking in here real quick. I am not seeing many complete pretzels at all, so I'm just gonna start grabbing some. There we go, I got one, you know what I'm saying? I got one, and I do think without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and put this in my mouth and go ahead and try to get, well, a pretzel all lit up and go ahead and smoke a pretzel for the first time. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying? I don't really think that worked very well. I think I just charred it and everything like that kind of thing. Of course, I'm getting some pretzel taste in my mouth and everything like that, but I think it's just because I, I smacked my lips and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? Let's go and try this again. <sighs> I'm getting no airflow off of this at all. I'm getting no airflow off of this at all, sadly. No airflow at all. Yeah, that's a shame. That's a shame, but it does make sense. There's just about no airflow going from this side of the pretzel to this side of the pretzel. So it does honestly make sense why it does not seem a pretzel will actually smoke. That really is a shame, I gotta play on so that really is a shame and I'm not eating this pretzel either. This does not look scrumptious at all, I gotta play on so That really is a shame. I'm gonna go ahead and try it again just to see if I can get it to work but I really don't think it's gonna work very well at all. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to take this end off, see if I can just make some airflow and everything like that kind of thing. Maybe that was the issue. So I just took that end off right there and I'm gonna go ahead and just try to go ahead and get this lit up once again and see if this provides me with any airflow or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, I might go ahead and just try to cut off this end as well and see if, well, the pretzel just broke, so that's not gonna work or plan. So, but I'm just gonna go ahead and grab another pretzel stick out and go ahead and see if I can just try this with some good airflow and everything like that. I'm gonna try to grab the longest pretzel I can. This one's not very long at all. I got a plan. So let's go ahead and try this again. There we go. Okay. This one should work hopefully. All right. I'm going to just go ahead and just try to take the absolute end of this off right there. Just go ahead and just crunch it a little bit kind of thing. There we go. All right. So I think I should have some airflow coming from this side and then this side's already broken off and everything like that kind of thing. I think if the a pretzel is going to smoke, this is going to be the pretzel that's going to smoke. And if this doesn't work while well, smoking a pretzel is just impossible. It will be a little bit of a shame if it is impossible, but I certainly do hope that this one works better than, well, the last one that I tried to smoke. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. But I do think without further ado, let's go ahead and try to see if I can get this lit up and let's go ahead and try to smoke, well, a pretzel for the first time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? That's not working very well. It's a little bit it's a little bit windy today, I got a plan. So that certainly is a little bit windy today, but that certainly is what it is, I got a plan. So that certainly is what it is. I'm just gonna go ahead and try once again in a moment once the wind just dies down just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. <sighs> no smoke or nothing like that. I don't even think it really lit up or anything like that, sadly. Let's go and try this again.
Yeah, I'm not seeing any success. I'm not seeing any success. Even with the increased airflow and everything like that, I still think it's just too solid for me to really get any airflow from this pretzel right here. I gotta play on some. Maybe if it wasn't gluten-free, it would work better. I really have no clue I gotta play on a cell. But what I think I need is like a pretzel with like a tube just going all the way through it kind of thing, because then I can actually get airflow. I think it would actually get lit up then. But of course, no pretzel manufacturer is going to make a pretzel like that. Otherwise, people would actually smoke the pretzels, you know what I'm saying? There we go, I got some smoke, I got some smoke. I am officially smoking a pretzel for the first time. It worked, y'all, it worked. I don't know whether it came around the edge of the pretzel, I don't know whether it actually came through the pretzel or not, but it worked, it worked. I got some smoke. I have now officially smoked a pretzel for the first time. Oh my goodness, y'all, I have now smoked a pretzel for the first time. No complaints on my behalf, no complaints on my behalf at all. Let's go ahead and get this relit. This definitely does not stay lit, but technically speaking, I did take a hit off of a pretzel, so technically speaking, I did just smoke a pretzel for the first time. Certainly no complaints for me. Let's go and try this again. Ah. I got a little bit more smoke. I got a little bit more smoke. And I think I can see, I think it's actually going through there because I'm seeing a little bit of a part of the pretzel that is just more yellow than it was when I first broke off the pretzel and everything like that. So I can definitely say this is actually smokable. This does indeed have a tube going all the way through it where you can smoke the pretzel through. Oh my goodness. No complaints for me. And I'm saying no complaints for me. A little bit more smoke, a little bit more smoke. This is actually smokable. Look, the ash is turning white. This is actually smokable. Now the taste of the pretzel right off the bat with the three tiny hits that I've taken so far, it basically tastes like pretzel that's char, which is understandable. This is pretty much charred pretzel. That's, that's pretty much what it tastes like in all honesty. It really doesn't have much more of a taste other than that. It just tastes like pretzel, including the salt and everything. That's charred. That's pretty much what it tastes like, in all honesty kind of thing. It's honestly, it's pretty understandable how it tastes like that, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. Overall though, would I do this again? It's probably not worth the hassle, but I'm gonna go ahead and just try to smoke this entire pretzel, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that's gonna be possible, but I'm gonna try nonetheless, you know what I'm saying, I'm definitely not much body off of this pretzel or anything like that and that hit did not taste good that hit did not taste good it just tasted like charred pretzel definitely not it i gotta play on so definitely not it well we do now know though and look it's actually burning it's actually burning now there we go that was the first big hit of this pretzel that was the first big hit It's actually burning, y'all. It's actually burning, y'all. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. A pretzel is actually smokable. And today, I may, I might have almost given up hope about halfway through this video, but today, I actually did smoke a pretzel for the first time. No complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? No complaints on my behalf at all. Wow. This is actually smoking. I am actually low-key impressed. And we can just see, I don't know if you guys can see it, the bottom of the pretzel right here, which is the side I'm drawing from, is just getting more and more yellow from the tar, from the pretzel and everything like that, which is very understandable. That does indeed make a lot of sense. I gotta play on this, y'all. But it is still working nonetheless. No complaints on my behalf. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No complaints on my behalf besides the taste not being really all that great and everything like that kind of thing. Other than that, this is working pretty decently. The body is absolutely, absolutely tiny. Don't get me wrong. It makes sense. There's not really a lot of airflow or nothing like that kind of thing. The taste isn't really all that good and I'm not feeling buzzed or anything like that kind of thing. And I'm certainly not really feeling much of anything. I'm just kind of feeling like I'm smoking a pretzel. 
which makes sense. It's pretty much exactly what you would expect. Doesn't really smoke all that good. Doesn't really taste all that good. Doesn't really give you all that much smoke, but it is smokable nonetheless. A pretzel is indeed smokable. At least a pretzel stick is. I will admit, I don't think the ribbons would work very well at all. I could plan so. Yeah, that one's just about dead. I think I'm just gonna light this up one more time go and just try to take one more hit and then i'm just gonna go and end the video right there this experience is not really all that good i wouldn't do it again but i'm excited to have to, i'm glad to have done it i'm excited to have done it and i'm glad to have done it that is for sure now i can just knock this off my list of uh well things to do i gotta play on a sale let's go and try this gun though There we go, just a little bit of smoke, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of smoke. Not too much, though. <sighs> no complaints on my behalf, y'all. No complaints on my behalf at all. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just stub this pretzel out right here. That certainly does sound a little bit ridiculous to say. I'm just gonna go ahead and stub out this pretzel right here. That certainly does sound a little bit ridiculous to say. And we can see about halfway through the actual like uh, pretzel and everything like that kind of thing, they're still yellowing, proving once again that there was indeed smoke coming through the entire pretzel to well my lungs and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? So certainly no complaints on my behalf. This has certainly been a very, very interesting experience and something I am certainly very, very glad to have done. I'm glad to have smoked a pretzel for the first time. As said, this was a very interesting experience, not one I really wanna have again, in all honesty. I don't really think I wanna have this experience again. It wasn't terrible. It was a super small body though. Not really the greatest taste in the world, but also not really the worst taste in the world kind of thing. It basically just tasted like charred pretzel in all honesty. And it wasn't really particularly rough, but it wasn't really particularly smooth either kind of thing. It was definitely a little bit rougher than I expected it is for sure, especially with the super small body. But overall though, smoking a pretzel actually does work. You can indeed smoke a pretzel. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. I'm so glad to have well smoked a pretzel for the first time. And I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching me well smoke a pretzel for the first time. You know what I'm saying? But I do think without further ado though, it is now time for me to go and end the video right here. Thank you very much for watching me smoke a pretzel for the first time. If you guys enjoyed this video, of course, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, my second channel, all in the description down below. You know what I'm saying? Go check it all out. But yeah, until the next one, y'all stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.